What's up guys, Danny from Danny Max Kitchen. Great to see you as always. So you know me, I'm always trying to come up with recipes that are quick and economical, right? Right? Well, you know what? It doesn't always happen like that. It can't always be quick, it can't always be economical. It just does, happens like that, but I try. Today's episode is, in fact, quick and economical. I came across some chicken on sale today, some awesome chicken breast, I picked it up, wrote a rockin' recipe for you guys. We're gonna do a pan-seared chicken milanese. We're gonna top it with a crisp watercress salad and finish it with a nice, simple balsamic reduction. The balsamic reduction actually takes the most time in this recipe, as in, in fact, is the easiest part of this recipe. So that's what we're gonna do first. We're gonna get that going on in the background. While that's cooking, we're gonna finish everything else up, and you'll be cooking in one, two, three. Let's do this. Like I said, guys, this reduction takes the most time in this recipe. Get a medium saucepan, eight to 10 ounces of balsamic vinegar. Kick up that heat. We're gonna put it over medium to medium low until it starts bubbling away. And then we're gonna reduce the heat and we're gonna reduce it to a nice syrup. Check back with you in a few minutes. We've come to a pretty decent boil. We're gonna reduce the heat now, like I said, to medium low. We don't want it boiling that much. And while this is cooking in the background, let's get our chicken going and we'll check on this intermittently. Let's do it. I picked up a pound and a half of sliced, thinly sliced chicken breast. It's nice and thin, but you know what? I want it a little bit thinner, so we're gonna pound it out. And to do so, I grabbed a little bit of parchment paper. We're gonna place it right on top. If you don't have parchment paper, by all means, take some cellophane or some plastic wrap and fold it over once or twice and put that on top as well. Grab a meat mallet. And using the flat side, we're just gonna pound it out a couple times. Don't go crazy with this, guys. I just want you to get it a little bit thinner than it was. The reason being so is I want it to cook pretty quickly. So I'm gonna do that for each one, okay? Okay, guys, like 12 minutes have passed. Let's check on this. It's getting really nice and thick. Big bubbles coming out, that's what you're looking for. At this point, we're just gonna turn it off and allow it to cool. Once it does cool down a little bit, transfer it into a small bowl. And while that's happening, let's get our chicken bread in. Let's do it. For our chicken milanese, transfer it to a bowl of breadcrumbs. And to this, we're gonna add Parmesan cheese. This really makes it some lemon zest, zest of one lemon. And some fresh, super chopped fine parsley. And mix that up good. So let's set up a standard breading station. And this is it, very simple, one, two, three. We have seasoned flour, which I just seasoned with a little bit of salt and pepper. The eggs, roughly, roughly mixed. And these amazing breadcrumbs, which you just put together. Let's start off with the flour section of our breading station. Flour both sides. Shake off any excess, and we're gonna move on to the next one. The egg. And the breadcrumbs. And you know guys, it's okay if you wanna do this ahead of time. Pop it in the fridge, just cover it. Perfectly okay. If you wanna get it done in the morning or something, that's cool. Before we pan fry our chicken, grab yourself a large bowl. Let's add the watercress. Nice and crispy and delicious and spicy. The tomatoes. Add the radishes. Red onion. Apples. Give it a good squeeze of lemon. A good drizzle of olive oil. Salt and pepper to taste. Four to five ounces of vegetable oil in a large saucepan over medium heat for about a minute and a half. And I'm gonna cook these guys probably three at a time. So I don't wanna overcrowd the pan. Let's take a peek, guys. 
that looks amazing. Beautiful golden brown. It took about two minutes to do that, so let's flip it back over. Do another two minutes on the other side. Yeah, look at that. Crazy. Total cooking time, four minutes for these guys. Feels firm to the touch. Good indicator that it's done. Let's get these out of this oil. We're gonna put it on this plate over here with a paper towel and allow it to drain for a second or two. We don't want it to be all oily. Let this rest for about a minute. We'll get our salad ready, we'll plate it up, and we're good to go, guys. Okay, guys, let's plate her up. Let's see what we can come up with to make a really awesome presentation here. Never seems to be a problem. Some of this wonderful salad that we put together. Look at all these colors, it's sick. Crazy, love it. I wanna get every single vegetable that we prepared on here. The tomatoes, the onions, the radishes, everything, the apples. Excellent. Yeah, that looks great. And we're going to garnish it with our balsamic production. Which is really going to add an intense flavor to it. Mm. Can't wait. Cool, guys. Check it out. Enjoy. So guys, what did you think? This came out really awesome, right? It was quick, easy, and economical. Listen, this whole thing cost me like max like $14. I think the chicken cost me $7, which is the most expensive ingredient out of this entire recipe. So thereafter, apples, radishes, lettuce, it really doesn't add up. So I mean, you can really throw this together for your family super, super quick at the end of the day after working for 15 minutes. Bam! Also, I want you to experiment, okay? I want you to take this breading and I want you to try it with like pork or fish, especially salmon, halibut, even tuna. Like cook it rare with a little crust like this. Serve that with this balsamic production, rockin'. Also, the balsamic production will last indefinitely in your fridge. Goes well with lots of things. I like it on eggs. I like it just on plain tomatoes, endive, simple salad, anything like that. Even I like it, like it's a little weird, but on grilled cheese but that's just me. But hey, guys, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Share this with your friends and family. Give us a shout out on your Facebook. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. Till next time, thanks for watching. Danny from Danny Max Kitchen. See you soon.